in this video we will be discussing insertion at beginning of a single linked list so what is this problem all about let's say we have a linked list of this form let's say we have been given a linked list consisting of three nodes okay so we have three nodes in a linked list and let's say the data parts are 3, 7 and 2. The addresses are 100, 200 and 300. So this will contain 200 and this will contain 300. And the last node will contain null. The link part of the last node will contain null. So this node is pointing to this node and this is pointing to this. And of course the head pointer will contain the address of the starting node right so let's say i have a linked list with three nodes in this form now the question is i want to insert a new node i want to insert a new node at the beginning of the list now what do i mean by insertion at the beginning of the list i want to insert a node before three i want to insert a node before this node three so how do i do that so see if i have to insert a node at the beginning of the list the first thing that i need to do is I need to create that node and if you have gone through my previous videos you would probably be able to understand now that we can create a node using the malloc memory management function so step number one is to create the node so step one step one is to create the node create a new node so you create a new node using malloc that is step one okay now once you create a new node using malloc what happens is this node comes into existence okay so it will have a data part and it will have a link part and of course this node will have an address of its own let's say the address is 400 and this 400 which is the starting address of this node will be stored in a variable in a pointer variable let's say ptr and now PTR is pointing to this node. Obviously, if you're going to use malloc, you'll have to do it through a pointer, right? And the pointer that I'm using here is PTR. So I'm creating this node through a pointer PTR. And now the address part of this node is contained in PTR. So this is step number one. Now due to step one, this is what happens. Now due to step two, so what is step two? Step two means you need to give the data part a value, right? You need to give the data part a value. So assign assign value to data part assign value to data part how can you do this you'll have to access the data part of the node through the pointer what is the pointer that is used here ptr so i'll be giving the data part a value through ptr so i'll say ptr arrow data equal to the value equal to the value that i want to assign so let's say the value that I'm trying to assign is, let's say, just for example sake, let's say I'm trying to assign 8. So what will happen? PTR arrow data. What does PTR arrow data signify? PTR arrow data signifies take the data part of the node to which PTR is pointing. So PTR is pointing to this node, take its data part and give it a value of 8. So it gets a value of 8. So that is step 2. Now what about step 3? Now in step 3 what will happen is, See, we need to make this node our new first node. Now, in order to make this node our new first node, we need head to point to this. And along with that, this node should point to the current first node of my list. See, out of three nodes, which is the first node? This is the first node. Now, for this new node to become my new first node, it should point to the current node. That means I should have a link like this. I should have a link like this now in order to establish this link what is the statement that i need to write see i need to get this hundred into the link part of this node so how can i get this hundred i can get this hundred through head see head contains a value of hundred why does head contain the value of hundred because this node is the first node of my linked list and always the address of the first node is stored in head so if i have to assign if i have to assign to the link part of this node the value of 100 i can do that through head so what will i say i'll say ptr 
arrow link. So PTR arrow link means the link part of the node to which PTR is pointing. PTR is pointing to this node. Its link part is this. Give it a value of head. What is the value of head? Value of head is 100. Now because of this statement what will happen? 100 will now be stored here and this node will now be pointing to this node. Right? And the final step is, so step number 4 is, step number 4 is, I need to make this node, now this node, see, this node is now pointing to the first node of my list. Like before this node came into the picture, this was my first node. Now after this node has been created, it should become the new first node. If it has to become the new first node, it should point to the current first node of my list. Now that is what I have been able to do. And what is one more thing that I need to do? I need to make head point to this node. Why? Because head always contains or head always points to the first node of my list. And since my first node has changed to this node, I need head to point to this. So how do I do that? I simply say head is equal to PTR. If I say head is equal to PTR, what is the value of PTR? The value of PTR is 400. So head gets a value of 400. So head no longer points to this node. Instead, it points to this node. Now see, head is pointing to this node. This node is pointing to this node and the list is continuing. So this is how you would insert a new node at the beginning of the list. So this was the algorithm. Now in the next video, I'll show you the complete program. I hope this helps. Thank you.